Hi, I'm Shauna Bratchett, Dr. Mom HD, and thank you once again for joining me. Okay, so this m month, week, whatever series I'm in at this point, um, is going to be viewer's choice. And some of the questions that I get asked all the time is, how do I prevent acne naturally? Um, acne is actually the blocking of the sebaceous glands and basically what it is is an influx in hormones and depending on whether you are actually a teenager or even an adult that is still battling um, adult acne it's a devastating thing to get over. I know this from experience because I used to have really bad um, adult acne Started in teens, continued all the way through. It was until I discovered homeopathy that I was able to battle it and prevent it and it doesn't come back. Not as fully as it ever did previous. The way that I did it obviously was balancing my body with homeopathy, which is one thing that I will recommend. But trying to deal with skin issues is probably got to be the most frustrating and long-term um, Thing that any homeopath is going to have to deal with with a patient and even as a patient it's really frustrating because every time I got put on a remedy my face would break out massively which is fine because it's called a healing crisis and it needed to go through it and after about three to four days it settled down and it was fine and everything started working out. As much as you're balancing your body inside with homeopathy which is a wonderful thing and I believe that if your body is in imbalance then you're obviously pulling everything out of it and acne is one way of doing it. Um, but you have to actually take care of the outside of your skin as well. And the best way to do that that I found was to find gentle cleansers. Um, for me, I had to be very careful. I have very sensitive skin and there are two products that I found that I really love and I use still to this day and absolutely love it. Um, one is the GF Skincare from Australia. It doesn't tend to have a lot of, um, it doesn't have any parabens in it. It's phosphate free and it tends to have a lot of um, organic properties in it. So I absolutely love this. It's a pump one, it's light, it's easy to use and it's wonderful. Sometimes though in the winter time I find that um, my skin needs just a little bit more moisture and I have a friend that uh, has her own company called Face Pope and I use the Deep Pore Cleanser here. Now this one is more of a um, an oilier, um, a greasier way of getting your makeup off, but it takes off all your mascara, your makeup, everything. It gets deep down into the pores and it actually helps get that out, but it still moisturizes your skin. So I find it's a wonderful product to use, especially in the winter time, or if I'm finding I'm having a few breakouts, then that's what I tend to use. Now naturally, um, I tend to use things like spot treatments for acne. And what do I tend to use? My favorite item tea tree oil. Tea tree oil, although stinky as can be, <laughs> and some people really like the smell of it. I'm used to it at this point, so it doesn't really bother me, but um, it actually is an, its own natural antibiotic. So if you spot treat the acne, you will actually get, um, it will dry itself up. It's um, an antibacterial, so it will actually take that and clean out what is happening. I find it tends to work really well. Better than a lot of the old wives tales of putting toothpaste on your um, acne um, and all that other stuff. The other thing is, if you are using soap, be very careful. There are parabens in soap that you have to be careful about. There's also hormone changing chemicals that are in a lot of the products that are out there to wash your face. If you're sensitive, I really suggest you find something that is, you know, as organic as possible, sensitive free, doesn't have a lot of scents to it because scents can definitely irritate your skin. The other thing is what I do in the morning is I just wash my face with water and a face cloth, that's it. In the evening, I take off all my makeup and everything with my cleanser and put on a moisturizer before I go to bed. And it seems to work for me, and I always do the spot treatment if I have a, a breakout anywhere on my face. So I hope these tips really help you. So number one, you're going to balance your body with homeopathy because it is a, a long-term solution, but it, once you finally balance that body, you've definitely licked the acne, and the acne then doesn't come back full force. It may come back once in a while under stress or hormone or um, that time of the month for women, but for the majority of the people, I find that easy, easy to uh, deal with. So I hope that's going to help you find your homeopath that can help you. 
get gentle cleansers. And in a pinch, if you're away on a trip, your shampoo is gentle and it's probably gentler than some of the products that are out there. And then for spot treatment, use tea tree oil, one of my favorite products. So I hope these are very helpful trips for, or tips for you. And um, you continue to ask me what you're wanting to know about so that I can give you the information and make sure that you are well aware and very informed. I'm Shadow Bradshaw, Dr. Mom HD. If you like this, follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook. And I look forward to chatting with you again. Take care.